I'm here um, on a not so sunny rooftop with Marcus Foster. How are you? I'm good, thanks. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. It is July, isn't it? Yeah, it's. It doesn't feel like it though. No, not at all. So talk to me a little bit about first about being so big in the US. How does it feel to kind of made it big there first? Um, well, it's not like I'm not really that big over there. It's quite a big you place. You can tell me you are. It's fine. No, it's. I mean. Um, I don't know. I, I I went over there a couple of years ago and did some tours, and that was great. And yeah, just you know, signed to a label over here. So it's about trying to trying to you know travel the country and see what happens. Because obviously, like the states know you for your songs that you did on Twilight. Is that? Yeah. So you're looking forward to people not really knowing that much about the Twilight songs in the UK. Uh, yeah, it's not as you. big. It's not as big over here. And talk to me a little bit about the album. What can we expect? Um, the album's called Nameless Path, and it's uh, it's a it's it's a quite a big mix of like a lot of old stuff and new stuff. You know, it's a it's a big good mix of different kind of genres and just kind of yeah. I don't know. <laughs> it's just a big mix. It's a big mix. It's a it's a Haribo mix of fruity flavors. You've just graduated as well with the MA. Yeah, yeah, art and I, I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. What is your first love, music or art? I love them both equally and as a group. And Charles Sarchi bought one of your pieces. Which room do you think it is in in his house? If it is in his house, it's not in his house. It's oh, in damn. a storage space in, no. in Vauxhall. Yeah. <laughs> no way. Um, our parts yeah. tabloid name. What would yours be? I've come up with one. Do you want to hear it? People call me Fozzy for some reason. Fozzy. Oh, you don't like that? Oh, I had a <laughs> friend at school right, called Fozzy. Really? We were going with nice um, Marfo. Marfo? Mofo? No. Uh, Mofo. <laughs> yeah, but Ma because of the Marcus. Okay, Ma. I don't know if you know how to spell your name, but I think it's A after the M. Is it? Yeah. Ma. Ma. Just call me Ma. Okay, that's a good one. I've got yeah. some viewer questions. Cool. If that's all right. Yeah, sure. I've got to say, you had a good response from the tweets. Oh, yeah? Let me get it out here. <laughs> My fabulous phone. Okay, so Hobo Hope wants to know, <laughs> does any Hobo. American <laughs> culture influence you? Yeah. Um, a yeah, a lot, a, lot of me a lot of music that I listen to, like kind of um, early kind of uh, Chicago blues stuff, like piano players like Otis Spann and uh, Buddy Guy, uh, you know, American kind of gospel singers like singer, Sister Rosetta Tharp and Tom Waits and... Uh, Tim Buckley, a lot of these kind of uh, a, a lot of music I grew up listening to, like Bob Dylan and stuff, was all kind of from America. Next one, D. Watch Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> these are your fans. Oh. Uh, what song do you wish that you wrote? Oh, what was the most selling song of all time? <laughs> no. Take that, take that yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, there's a song, one of my favourite songs. It's a song called Time by Tom Waits. I, I always wish I wrote Ninja Panda 2011. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever happened to like Jane or <laughs> Sam or No one's called Jane anymore. No. Half it's to seven, school. that's what they're all called now. Is there a song you've written that you won't ever play live and why? I kind of play all songs that I've written really. Okay. Um but some you know, sometimes you don't have enough time to play all your songs. <laughs> Kill cousin. Saw you in Denver. <laughs> Kill <Can> cousin. <laughs> Kill cousin, okay. yeah. Okay. I saw you in Denver. Can you share the bus ride experience from LA? Terribly funny. Smiley face. <laughs> it's not really that funny. I took a bus from LA to Colorado, which mm. was 25 hours of pure desert. And that's that's about as funny as it gets, really. It was kind of terrifying. Everyone was kind of sh threatening to shoot each other by the time we got there. Um, but yeah, it was, yeah, it was terrifying. And finally, Annalyn Bryant, Team Edward or Team Jacob? Oh, is that what is that? Is that the Twilight thing? Yeah. Um, yes, yes. Team, I'd have yes, to say yes. Team Edward. Well, Marcus Foster, it's been interesting. Thank you so much for joining <laughs> us in the Red Room. Interesting. <laughs> Hopefully, next time we see you, it'll be sunnier. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.